What's up guys, Will and Customs here, and today we are taking a look at my newest AEW world title in my collection. It is by SA Championship Belts. I'll leave a link below in the descriptions. Go check them out. Fantastic, TV accurate AEW belt right here. It is huge, as you can see. I've cut a gone with other belt makers. We'll talk more about that later. But I chose this one because it looks really good. And other reasons, obviously. But talking about this belt, 4 millimeters four layers of plates so it's stacked the center plate is four layers the side plates are three themselves so it's really nice it's really big as you can see it's really heavy as well and i'll do some size comparisons later uh, other than that when you buy this belt you have three options or three choices of name plates which is great so i got three and he also threw in a fourth one for me which is really nice of them you also get a little baggie of stones if you need it. If you also want to get Swarovski stones on it, it will cost you a little bit extra, but I'm pretty sure it is worth it. I think when they started doing that, I already placed my order for my belt, so I didn't get that option. I don't think I would have gotten it anyway, but I've seen it in pictures, and I think it looks pretty good. All right, so let's take a look at this belt up close and personal. So like I said before, four layers of stacked plates on the center. So it looks really nice. So we have one, two, this would be three these two right here and I guess the AW will be the fourth layer on top so it's definitely a lot of layers to it which is nice the side plates like I said before there are three layers so one two three the globe and the AEW right here so it's definitely a heavy belt and it's stacked uh, going to the belt strap itself it's really nice so this is a really heavy belt requires a pretty heavy and thick strap which is nice uh, but it's still pretty soft, and I'll get into that later. But the etching is really nice. The AEW etching is really deep and pretty prominent, which is nice, easy to see from far away. Uh, there are eight snaps on both sides for male and female, which is TV accurate. I also like how over here is a little bit thicker and wider, and as you go down, it gets a little bit skinnier, just a little bit, but that's pretty accurate, just like on TV too. And over here is the AEW on the other side. Like I said before, really deep and really clean, which is nice. And you have eight snaps going across as well over here. I like the strap too. The strap has a nice shine to it, which is really nice. It's not like a dull matte black. It has a nice look to it. And like I said before, it's a thick strap, but it's pretty floppy. And just taking a look at the belt itself, it's a fantastic looking belt. I love this design. You know, I honestly, I could easily say this is my favorite current world title out there right now better than the wwe ones in my opinion just a nice classic looking gold world title but looking at the belt design itself sa championship belts did a great job making this belt as you can see it's stacked beyond belief <laughs> uh, but yeah everything looks really nice they did a great job overall you can see not a lot of blank spots everything's all filled in all the etching all the designs you know a lot of belt companies make their own design of this belt to their best abilities and while there are a lot of them um, some do better than others of course and in my opinion this is a pretty good TV accurate AEW world title alright so taking a quick look at the back of the belt so they have a nice backing to it and I have to admit this is probably one of my favorite backings on a belt right here because it's so soft they make it so soft I said before it is a thicker strap overall but the backing itself is actually really soft like when I press into it, I feel like you're pressing into the soft material of a car. Where it's not too soft, but it's kind of firm, but you can still kind of press your finger into there. Uh, it's definitely a nice feeling, and you definitely feel it over the bolts. Because they're not too hard, and they actually feel pretty good on your shoulder. Over there on the side there, you do have the female snaps right there. And on the backing over here is just plain. Alright, next up is the NXT Championship, which I love these two side by side. Honestly... Having these two companies, you know, come up on the same day really sparked back my interest in wrestling. So I love having these two premier belts on my in my collection, and they look. I think they both look fantastic. But as you can see, the AEW belt is a really big belt, even compared to the NXT one, which is a pretty standard size championship in my collection. But there they are, side by side, they look really nice. All right, for another size comparison, so here it is next to the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. This is a WWE Shop one right here. I think it's two or three millimeters. Uh, it's a pretty standard one with the alligator red backing on it. Uh, it's a pretty big belt itself, but as you can see, compared to the AEW one, so you can see the difference in size, or you can actually see how big the AEW one is. 
All right, so here's the belt. Uh, like I said, it's a humongous belt. It is heavy as well. You know, myself, I like to work out. I thought I find this belt to be too heavy, to be honest. Uh, but it's nice. Like I said, the weight on it is fantastic. Putting on my shoulder. As you can see, if it's humongous. This center plate is so big that it looks humongous on me, which is nice. You know, you want the premier one, you want the big one, you want to see, show off how nice. And this is a nice belt. I love this belt design. I think they did a great job, AEW. And uh, this belt maker, SA Championship Belts, did a fantastic job in creating this belt to be TV accurate. As you can see, the backing right here, it just drops right down, which is nice. Doesn't stick out. It's fantastic leather on it. Uh, like I said, it's thick because it has to hold all these plates, but it is still very floppy, which is nice. All right, so I chose SA Championship Belts for a reason because uh, in wanting to buy a new AEW belt in my collection, I went to you know the various ones like Mock Belts or Mayan Belts because I know a lot of people get, get them. Uh, but the one thing that kind of discouraged me a lot was the fact that you know, I know it's a pandemic right now, but a lot of people, even before the pandemic, have been saying, you know, there's a long wait time. The turnaround time is pretty long. Some people waited months. Some people waited two, three months. Maybe they haven't heard anything for a while. So I'm not going to lie. It kind of discouraged me a little bit. So I kind of held off for a while. And then I think Stephen Hammer, a fantastic belt maker, did a review on his AEW belt from SA Championship Belts. And, you know, it kind of caught my eye. 30 days turnaround time fantastic so i messaged them got some prices and believe it or not i got my belt in 25 days fantastic i couldn't be happier and as you can see it's a nice looking tv accurate AEW belt now with sa championship belts uh they actually have two different tiers to their AEW belt at least um so this one is the biggest one you can get it is 480 dollars like i said before it's a bigger plate also uh, four stacks of the four millimeter plates you can also get a smaller one which is 380 and i believe it's about um about one or two inches smaller when it comes to the length and width of the plate so a little bit smaller but it's not a bad thing i don't think it'll be that i mean if it's as good as a design as this if it's a little bit smaller i think it'd be fine overall uh, but I'll do a size comparison with my other belt right now so you can see uh, the difference between like this size versus a smaller version. So here is my original AEW in my collection, uh, which is really nice. I still like it a lot. It's actually four millimeters at two layers of plates, which is pretty, pretty good. Uh, but you can definitely see the size difference between these two when it comes to the plate size and height and length and uh, width. Uh, it's not bad, you know, like I said before, you could also get this one at a smaller size, which I think would be about this size anyway. And I think it's a fantastic size still. I like the new one I have. It's more TV accurate, definitely. But it's humongous. It's a really big belt. I think if you were to carry it around, it might be a little bit uncomfortable. Maybe having a smaller one might be more beneficial in the, in the long run. Uh, but yeah, that's up to you. All right, so I do most of my videos in the, my basement, in my man cave. But sometimes when I do a lot of B footage for videos, I like to take it upstairs to my uh, bedroom on the second floor. It has the best lighting, you know. So I want to carry this big belt up two flights of stairs. And I'm, I'm trying to show you guys that, you know, it's a heavy belt. Um, I think if you just carry it around for like a couple minutes, you're like, it's not that bad. It's not that bad at all. But I can't imagine if you had to carry it around like an actual wrestling event or a you know convention because it definitely will get to you. I don't know I don't know the exact weight to this belt. Um, I'm gonna say it's probably at least 11, 12 pounds, maybe even more. Uh, but it's definitely not a not an easy thing to carry. So that's why I'm like, maybe you want to get the smaller one for that very reason for the weight but already i'm uh starting to feel it so yeah beautiful belt nice and big but like i said you can't deny the big this bit this belt's so big 
that I just love it anyway. I think it looks fantastic. All right, guys. So that's about it. You know, I think this is a fantastic TV accurate AEW belt. It's humongous. It's huge. And it is really beautiful. I love this. Um, I'm not going to say it's the most TV accurate you could get out there, but it's pretty close enough. And I'm pretty satisfied with it. Um, I'm not going to nitpick it. I'm not going to like take a screenshot of the original one and just, like examine every single thing about it. I think just by looking at it, you know already it's a fantastic looking belt. Uh, you can't really go wrong with it, in my opinion. So that's about it, guys. Thank you for watching. And like always, comment, criticize, subscribe. Do whatever you want to pay attention. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Like the video. Get a thumbs up. Peace.